According to the Canada's Food Price Report, food insecurity is about to get worse for Canadian families. It will now cost a family of four over $16,000 a year to pay for the food, an increase of over $1,000 from last year. Now is not the time to increase taxes on grocery bills. In today's budget, will the Prime Minister cancel his carbon tax and stop making it harder for Canadians to feed their families? The Honourable Minister of Families. Mr. Speaker, as a government, we understand that these are challenging times for Canadians, and it's why we have put important measures in place to help Absolutely. Canadians, like doubling the GST tax mm -hmm. credit that has helped almost 11 million Canadians across the country to deal with the high cost of everything, like the Canada Child Benefit that is indexed to inflation that increased last July because we recognized how important it is for families to take care of Absolutely. their basic needs. And Mr. Speaker, let's also talk about childcare, which is helping thousands and millions of Canadians across this country to help with the high cost of living. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Chilliwack Hope. Family of four now needs to come up with $16,000 a year to pay for basic food, and the Liberal carbon tax hike will make the cost to grow and transport that food even higher, which means record high grocery bills will be going up by over $1,000 this year. And while that might not be anything, for a Prime Minister who would charge taxpayers $6,000 a night for a luxury hotel with a butler, for many Canadian families, it could be the difference between eating and going hungry. So why doesn't he just do the right thing and cancel his carbon tax in today's budget? Here, here. General Minister of Immigration. We have been doing the right thing since we first formed government in 2015. When we formed government, the very first thing we did was raise taxes on the wealthiest 1% so we could cut them for the middle class. Then we decided to stop sending childcare checks to millionaires so we could put more pocket money in the pockets of 9 out of 10 Canadian families. Through the pandemic, we were there for households because we believed households were too big to fail. Every step of the way, the Conservatives voted against us or held press conferences to say these big fat government programs would not get their support. Now they're campaigning on a commitment to take money away from families so they can make it free to pollute. That won't work in my neighborhood. The Honourable